it take your stupid ass so long to get the gates? Why? You were doing what? The bottle and the rock. You were doing what? You were doing what? Are you stupid? No, ma. Are you foolish? No, ma. Are you mad? No, ma. I hate you. I hate men. I hate anything that looks like a man. I hate all of you, idiot. Fool! You hate men. You hate men. No be man boy you. No be man boy you. Brother, are you blind? Are you blind? What are you reading? Eh? As you get eye like this, you know they see. Say this thing now for women, not for men. If you are not female, don't come. It's not for male. It's for female. Oh! Um, sorry, sir. Do you work here? But I'm not working here. I'm eating food here. Am I working here? Are you here to drag my post? Work here. Uh so this interview, when is the date? The date, let me tell you. The date is tomorrow. But it's not for people like you. If you are not a, a female, if you are not a female, you are not welcome. So you better just leave. But, uh, but sir, uh, uh, is this strictly for females? I have water in my mouth. My mouth is holding water. It's for female. Only I will write home to you. Tomorrow, let me tell you, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. Apart from this, tomorrow, no other day. For what? Hello, Bingo. Let me call Bingo. I know. Let me call Bingo. Giraffe. Look at the way you are peeping inside. You want to drag my GM job, my GM position. Stop annoying me. Let me stand here and make sure. It's in the airport. I want to see you leaving. Continue living, Biko! Uh, well, I guess I'll let you go, but um, if you're chosen, I'll contact you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Uh-huh. Uh, Sandra! Sandra, come on! You're wasting time. We're supposed to do this together. Come on. Oh, sorry, mommy. How is it going? Well, <laughs> any luck? Not yet. Uh, um, what's your name? Odawa. Oh, never mind. So, what is your catering qualifications? Oh, come on, Sandra. <laughs> that doesn't really matter because you can learn how to cook by, you know, practicing, or you can. Get, learn how to cook by studying uh, cookery books. The important thing is that the person knows how to cook. Besides, we also need a housekeeper, if you remember. Ah, oh, that's true, mom. You're oh. right. You said, look, I take care of you. Ah, I'm trying to go with you. God bless you, mom. I, I know how to take care of as fast cooking, so thank you. Um, mommy? Yes? Is she all right? I was going to ask you the same question. Uh, uh, you, yeah. said, you said your name is what again? Uh, chicken soup, papa. And if you want to tell me the salary. Salary. Uh, uh, did what? Salary. Uh, uh, sorry, darling. You have to be employed first before you can talk about salary. And from the way I see things, your chances are very slim. So, so we'll get in touch with you. Okay? okay thank you. Yeah. Get there, get there. I am moving. Oh, I had a thing where happened. I I 
Unaunze. Una hear the thing where happen? Wait. Hi. Uh, yes, yeah, so good afternoon. Uh, are you sorry? Are you coming here? Or are you coming to meet me or are you just passing? Yeah, uh, actually sir, I came for the interview, sir. For this interview. For the interview. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we don't have a bank uh, uh, interview because looking at you, I know if you are in need of any job, the only available job you can go for is bank, uh, banking, banking and finance, finance banking <laughs> or job interview. <laughs> yeah, actually, sir, I came for the cook job. Because what we have is cook interview. You came for this. Yes, sir. Uh, look at how much will they pay you that will be okay for you? Look at the way you dress. I am very, very sure that 50,000 naira will not even be comfortable, uh, uh, sufficient enough for you. So, why are you applying for this one? Well, actually, sir, cooking is my hobby. I can cook very well. Your hobby? Yes, ma. Oh, sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, ma. Sorry, ma. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, are you confused? No, I'm GM. GM. G GM. It's my pet name. GM. Okay. GM. GM. <laughs> uh, see, GM, let me tell you something. Uh, I can cook very well. I mean, very, very well. <laughs> if I cook for you, uh, GM, you see this your flat on me? Hey! It will just shoot out. It, <laughs> it will choke out? Yes. How come you know that I don't joke with my tummy? Oh, really? <laughs> with mentioning of this. In fact, as you mentioned this one, you are coming for this. Come inside. <laughs> Come inside. <laughs> Bye. 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 Don't go far. Wait there. Don't trust me. But this, you are this lady is walking and checking what. I hope you are here for me. Good day, ma. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, excuse me. Are you here for the interview? Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, that's good. Uh, by the oh, way, what, what's your name? Yes. My name is Regina Clifford. Regina Clifford. Mm. Beautiful name, by the way. And sorry, why are you dressed like this? And I hope you know this interview is for a cook and not for a bank job. Uh, it's okay, Sandra. You know, for me, um, she looks neat and modest, and really, modesty is a key to my heart, mm. a route to my heart, yes. Mm. <laughs> What's your name again? Regina Clifford. Oh, Regina Clifford. So what are your qualifications? I mean, catering qualifications. Did you come with any menu or anything we can see? <laughs> I'm sorry ma, talking about um, the way I'm dressed, you know, I believe in modesty and neatness. If I can take the compound clean and the kitchen clean, first of all I have to look neat in and out for me to be able to do so. Because I wouldn't want to have the feeling that the food, the delicious meals I know how to prepare cannot be served to you neatly ma. Thank you ma. This menu is really good. Do you have a referee? Yes, ma. I can provide one, ma. Because I would love you to start work as soon as possible. But of course, after we must have discussed your remuneration. Thank you, ma. I will provide one. I will. <clears throat> oh, Tuni, I'm so happy. I can't wait to start working in that house. You know, be cooking lovely meals for them. That will make me get close to the family and get close to the girl especially. You know, that's my target. But, Twini, wait. You know I'm not done teaching you how to make up before you go there and fool my hand. Come on. The little you taught me already makes me feel like a professional. I don't want you to feel like a professional. I want you to be a professional. No problem. It's okay. Fine. 
Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. I'm very, very sorry. I mean no disrespect. But all I'm saying is that how sure is this? How sure? <laughs> Why do you think I brought you guys out here to celebrate with you people? Hmm? I'm sure about it. Everything is going to work out. Okay? You need to see me during the interview. The way I stepped in. Hey, hey. The way I cut work. As in the woman was like, I, hello, excuse me. Are you here? Are you a banker or something? Are you here for the interview? I was like, yes, ma. The daughter was like, what's your name? I was like, my name is Regina Clifford. Ha, you need to see me dropping lines. <laughs> oh, they melted. Automatically, they gave me the job. You need to see me. Ah, oh, see me. <laughs> Trust me now. Uh, Jude. Yes, you have to you have to take care of my business. Why am I away? No, I trust you so much. Okay, why not? I mean, why am I there? <laughs> but boss, please. See, you acting as a female house help. Do you really think it's gonna work out? <laughs> Ask my naughty sister. I just don't know where she came up with the idea from. But you know one thing I like about it? It's going to give me the opportunity to get close to her, you know? As a female, that will be able to make me to know her strengths and weaknesses. Then later on, boom, I come out in a different form. Trust me, it's going to come out perfectly well. You know I'm the master planner. I know, I just hope so. I just hope so. Hmm. Hey, boss. All I'm saying is you're still important to me. Please, if you must do that, you have to be very, very careful. <laughs> Please, Clara, you help me tell boss who. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, Jude, if there is one thing I trust so much, that's my instinct. It has never failed me. You know, the moment I saw that girl, I knew she was going to be the mother of my kids. Trust me, it will work out well. And um, one more thing, please. You have to be my guarantor. Please. Oh, come on. I'm in game. Let's drink. All right, yeah. Oh, no, no. No. Oh, no. Please get us more drinks. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Hello? Uh, please, please, I'm very sorry. I'm not the owner of this phone. Sorry, please, can you call her back later? Okay, sorry, who am I speaking with? Who's there? Oh, Miss Jenna. 
Come right in. You have a call. Where is that? Awesome. Yeah, hello. Come back here, come here, come here. How dare you? How dare you touch my phone with your dirty hands, let alone pick my call? Madam, I'm, I'm sorry. You're very stupid. You're, 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 you're senseless. You just, you just made me hear the voice of a bastard that I don't ever want to talk to. I prepared something special to let you know that I'm sorry for what happened earlier. I'm truly sorry, girl. It's okay. And I'm very sorry for slapping you as well. Trust me, I'm not usually like that. Just that I lost it. Please forgive me, okay? Thank you, Mom, for forgiving me. Thank you. That's okay. Please, Mom, enjoy your meal. On one condition. Whatever you want me to do, I will do it for you, Mom. I want you to come sit down here and eat with me. At least that way I can know we're even. No more grudges. Thank you, it, it would be my pleasure, but you have to excuse me. Let me go and save the gym. Okay, that's fine. Just hurry up. Thank you. I'm waiting. Hey, hey, hey. better than one, Kali. 700 million pounds. Just a week, if I was a fast camp. To the belly, my Kali. Go for here. What am I doing? Why am I here? Opening gate and closing gate. And somebody, a small boy, is collecting 700 million pounds a week. If I let them employ me, let me be opening gate. That's their field. Let me be the one opening the gate and closing the gate of their field. They can pay me like uh, 20 million. Reggie, Reggie. Reggie, Reggie. Hey. Imagine how much you want to, uh, what I'm reading here. Carlo begs kidnappers to release mother. <laughs> I brought your food. Oh, mm, I can perceive the order of your delicious food. <laughs> mm. Come on, GM. It is not order, it is aroma. Oh, you cook this one with aroma? Which aroma? Tangeline, lemon or grape? Eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, dear, you want to be kidding me. Aroma, you know, when you're cooking, when you're preparing food, you know, the, 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 the smell, the scent, yeah, it is called the aroma. Oh, okay, Ishinu. Uh, yes. Ishinu means odor. Uh. Okay, your only scent, not odor. Uh -huh. oh, then uh, in another language, uh, uh, aroma, not aroma. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah. See, so, yeah, since I enter, you enter this house. The only food, food, food is the south me. You did do well. Eh? Before you know it now, I will get fat. Apart from getting the fat, my tummy will not choke out. <laughs> oh, that is true. That reminds me. You remember what I told you the very first day I came for the interview? Oh, that day, that day. Yeah, uh, I, I, yes. I told you that this is your flat mm. tummy. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to make it to be big. Yes, yes, you said that. <laughs> GM, GM. Uh, uh, do, uh, Reggie, do me a favor. Go to Oga's uh, fridge or oh, madam. Bring me juice, that big one. Chilled one. Let me, you know, down, you know, uh, flush down this food with it. 
<laughs> okay, and dear, you know what? I'm gonna get a dress for you, okay? But I wouldn't want to go to a girl's room. You know, it's somehow now. Don't worry, I will just go to the kitchen. If I see maybe can't mold or can't cook, I'll get it for you, okay? Just enjoy your meal. GM, GM! <laughs> This is Regine Wakaze with the, 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 the do me so hard. Just like this one, don't be a uh, man lazy girl. They work like a man, like a tomboy. Bring, uh, bring the juice, chill the one. Go. is happening oh regina is so good with her cooking oh my god this is nice oh mommy sorry sorry forgive her it's not her fault i actually asked her to join me will you go get my food mm. mommy this soup is nice trust me you need to eat the soup mm. Mm -mm. look at her Mm. That's bum bum that looks like. Mommy, sorry. Just. Eat. No, 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 you eat. She'll get my own stuff. Mommy, this soup is nice. I'm telling you. Is that why she should be sharing your, your food with you? Mommy, something happened. I'm only trying to make up. This soup is nice. That's the interesting part. Mm. Oh my god. Here's the trial. It took you so long to get the door. I'm sorry, ma. I, I was in the toilet. Oh, that's okay. But Regina, can you just stop calling me ma'am? Okay, ma. You just make me feel so old. <laughs> Regina, I'm a young girl like you. So please call me Sandra or Sandy. That will make me more comfortable. Okay? Okay, ma. Oh, sorry, Auntie Sandra. Sandra. <laughs> That's more like it. Anyway, I brought you this. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to make up. I'm still trying to make up. Hey, Auntie, God will bless you. God will bless you for me. You're welcome. Before you try them on, let me tell you about the color that made me react badly towards you. That was my ex. He cheated on me and that hurt me so much. Once again, I am really sorry. That won't happen again. It's okay, Mom. Okay, try your clothes on and let me know if you like them. Okay. Thank you very much, Mom. God will bless you for me. Thank you, Mom. What? Nearly. Oh, 
And I'm now in the labor market. No, no. You are in the favor market. I claim oh, it, right. Mom. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, meet um, Regina, the new house help. Well, obviously. Welcome, mm. welcome, Mom. Thank you. Regina, go set the table, prepare meal. My daughter must be found. Yeah, I'm She's coming. coming from <laughs> a far distance. Hurry up, hurry up, Regina. Oh, oh Mom. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's. You look good. Thank you, Mom. Me too. I really missed you, Mom. Yeah, I missed you more. Now take up your bag and come. Let's just. Okay, Mom. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You didn't even bother to call me to tell me what happened. Oh, no. But I'm here now. You're lucky. Hello. We have food at Regina, hurry up, please. Yeah, I found it. Pounded yam. That pounded yam. Okay, please, please, hurry. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Where are you going? Let me take you wherever you are going. Thank you, Mr. Ma. I'm just going to take bike or something. Come on, I care about you. I can take you wherever you are going to. Trust me, I mean no harm. I'm a man with my word. I won't harm you. Trust me, I will take you safe wherever you are going to. Well, that I'm looking for a free ride doesn't mean I should just butt into your car just like that. I don't know you. You're a stranger. Come on, I know you say I'm a stranger, but nobody's stranger, okay? Right. I will treat you well. Trust me. I mean no harm. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm mark my words. I mean no harm, okay? Let's go. Waka. Ah wow. So this girl a man. See me see wahala. It's gonna advance like you. I better go job. I miss you. Yeah. 
miss you. Yeah. I can't wait for you to get back and then curse <laughs> my ever ready body. You know how we used to do it now. <laughs> Alright. I love you. <laughs> okay. Love you, Amora. Take care. <laughs> yeah, take care of you. <laughs> that's a no, that's a no. Use the red button. Come on, use the red button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Good afternoon. Wow, she looks adorable. Chocolates, just like I love it. How do I devour her? She greets like she's into it too. I can't wait to feel her touch. Madam, good afternoon. It's afternoon already. Yes, ma'am. Where have you been? Madam, are you okay? Not, not, not really. You know, my my back is is itching me. I was I was thinking if you could you could you could you could I mean help me touch that spot. <sighs> Please just help me put your hands back on. Touch it. Oh, Madam, please, I'm, I'm sorry. I would have loved to scratch your back. But you see, when I went to the market, uh, the peppers that I wanted to use to cook, I personally selected them myself. And you know what it means? My hand is pepperish. Uh, you mean you can actually do it, but you don't want the pepper to get to the yeah. wrong spot? Of course. Uh, you know what it means when it it, it hurts. <laughs> but I, I need to go to the kitchen so I can wash my hands very well. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Oh, I can't wait to. Oh shit! All over my body. Even dramatize oh, <laughs> some men they come to women yeah. just to declare that I think she's in but to get the pepper won't let her <laughs> hey, oh, this dress start to happen who is that that oh, is me Regina oh Gina come right in you came at the right time you came at the right time. Please have me sit down. Oh, you told me to sit down. Have me sit down. You mean I should? Gina, stop that. Come on, help me sit up my dress and tell me how I do. Oh, this dress is so perfect. So tell me, how do I look? You look very beautiful. Thank you. You know, I got this dress like six months ago, but I've never really had any occasion to wear it. So I'll get you one just like this. Okay. Yeah, Auntie, you know, I'm just coming back from the market. Of, I walk a long distance. Uh, my leg, it, it hurts. I don't know if I can sit down. Come on, Gina. Come on, we're friends. Sit down. But, Feel at home, okay? Relax. Thank you. We're friends. So this room is your room, okay? So just end it with all these formalities. Come on. <laughs> oh. So I was saying.
Yeah. Something to suit your skin tone. Do you know? Are you there? Are you being serious? Regina! Regina! <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm too... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the love story is really interesting. Oh my god. And who was talking about a love story? Oh. Regina! Oh my god. Regina, don't tell me you're. you are a. No, yes, no, 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 Auntie. Actually, it's just that. Uh, I was I, just thinking. Oh. You were thinking about your boyfriend? Yes, yes, yes. I see. They are all stupid. They are stupid, they are foolish, they are idiots, they are ingrates, they are cheats, they are liars, and I hate them. They're all the same. Very unreliable. I, 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 they, don't, they don't deserve to exist on this earth with us. I swear to God, I'm telling you. This man. Regina, I had one. I love him with all my heart. I gave him all of me. But what did he do? He cheated on me. He cheated on me with my best friend. Of all the women on earth, he chose my best friend to cheat on me with. Can you imagine that? Some men are really heartless. So I'm sorry, ma'am. It's okay. Gina, are you alright? Gina! That was close. That was so close. See me see trouble. See me see what I almost spoiled everything. You almost spoiled everything. Eh? Every little thing you just be reacting. Regina, I, I, she's beautiful, right? And she cooks real good. When well, you guys are getting along, that's not it. Mira, she's all that, but she's weird. Yeah. Can you imagine what just happened? I asked her to help me zip, zip up my dress. Then suddenly she started kissing the air. She was mm. looking at me lustfully. Lustfully. Oh, you mean like like thirty seven? What does that mean? Mm, come on, like a lies. Oh, I didn't say that. Anyway, I asked her and she said something about her past. I don't know, maybe she remembered something. Past, 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 past. 
was weird. Anyway, let's forget about rage now. Let's go and dance now. Let's go have some dance stuff. You know? Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. Actually, I was getting dressed to take a walk. You know, I bought this dress like six months ago. I haven't worn it. I wanted to just step out. But I think dancing sounds better. Oh, you dance like this. No, 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 don't worry. Let me wear something more comfortable. Go downstairs and meet you up, okay? Let me change up quickly. Don't take long. I won't. Thanks. All right. Dancing with her? Are you sure you didn't scare her away? Why would I do that? I think someone is at the door. Let me get the door. Okay. Man! Who is there? Oh, 
Down, <laughs> feel at home when I freshen up. I'm sweating. Okay. I need to freshen up. I'll be right back. Okay, it's alright. See you after. Make sure you offer us something to drink. Me, I know you're very bad. To drink. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I'll see you at the table. Alright. How are you? I'm fine. Hope I wasn't disturbing my sister's working hours. No. Your sister's a hardworking girl. And feel free to come here anytime. You see, we're actually dancing before you came in. Wow, that's lovely. <laughs> Thank you. I'm forever grateful to your family for accepting us the poor into your home. It's okay, it's nothing. Okay? Yeah, so tell me. Does your sister have a boyfriend? No, he... I meant she doesn't have a boyfriend. Maybe she hasn't found her type, you know. And she kind of have her reservations about guys. So that means she's into, you know, ladies. No, not at all, no. No, not at all. Oh my god! So how are you? Yeah, we're dancing. So, make sure you give her something to drink. Okay? Yeah, of course. She's my only twin sister. <laughs> Do you know? I miss you so much. I miss you oh, you need to see that I was rocking your yeah, gear stuff. Let me see you guys. Make sure you give your sister very well, okay? All right. Thank you. See you around. Darling, I hope you enjoyed your meal. Yes, Auntie Sandra, thank you very much. Can you just stop? What is Auntie Sandra? Please, stop this primitive loyalty like your sister. Of course, I'm a young girl, a very young one at that. So you can call me Sandra or call me Sandy. Okay, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being nice and God will bless you. Amen. And give you a good husband. Ah! <laughs> husband. Real men are rare to find, my darling. It's actually very difficult to find a man who can tolerate me and not be intimidated by the so-called beauty in quotes. Auntie, don't worry. God will bless you with a good man. A good husband that will also be your friend. That's what I want. Yes, I like that word, friend. I want a man that can be my husband, my friend, my lover, my partner. A man that can feel my pain, cry when I cry and laugh when I laugh. That is what I want. But then, you're the only friend I have right now. And unfortunately, you're a woman, and I don't need women. So you see, finding a husband will take me some time, but I'll wait. Yes, I'll wait.
It is not easy. Huh? All in the name of looking for your wife. Do you know I almost laughed when I saw you? <laughs> You're looking so funny. <laughs> but I think she likes you. Do you know that she, she almost caught me the other day? Huh? She would have been disappointed if she finds out that I'm not I'm not a woman. Don't worry. Very soon I'll come up with a very good plan. Huh? Very soon. Think, think. Huh? But she's already getting used to you. But just try and bring her to the house. That way we'll know if she would cope with the truth when she finds out. Okay, I will try and make her to visit. Mm. But I'm so scared. I'm afraid I'm going to lose her if she finds out my true identity. Okay, just continue being nice to her. Mm? Make her feel very special. But well, you have to go inside before they start looking for you. Uh, but just wait, let's, look. let's wait for a bite, okay? Mom, what are you doing? Nothing. Um, um, no, I was rehearsing. You know the drama we're meant to do in church? Yes. That's a strange rule we have. I wanted to ask you, you know where your father is? Mom, I, 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 he should be around. Darling, where are you? That was close. Regina, I'm coming for you. Oh, and I, I've noticed there's something about the house help. Yeah. Yes. Depending on where you are coming from. Personally, I see her as a very good choice. One who knows her job very well. Mm -hmm. Her food is always tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. Good. True, that one is true. Her food is always on point. Mm -hmm. But she's just weird. There's something about her. I never knew you were sure of that. You have noticed to that. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. uh, well, let's hope uh, it's all for good. Okay. And watch things unfold. The point is that Sandra is quite comfortable with her. Yeah. It's uh, Miriam I'm a bit worried about. We need to keep an eye on her. Really? Honestly. Everyone is scared, I don't know. Security seems to be a problem. Everyone is very scared of talking politics. I, I, I think I believe in the reality. You would do something. 
a promise and he always delivers. He always delivers. so long I'm, I'm sorry i was praying praying yes auntie oh i'm sure you were praying to god thanking him for bringing a lovely soupy like me to your room on a cold morning soupy like you i, I don't mm. understand why are you all dressed <laughs> yeah just like you said it's a cold morning yeah it's a cold morning for me to use my lips and then feel those sensitive parts. Ah, God forbid, Auntie. I am not gay. Gay? Oh, 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 sorry, yeah. I mean, I am not a lesbian. And please, you have to leave my room now. Let's just act like nothing happened, please. I promise I won't tell anybody. Thank you. Take, come, 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 come. come. Uh, Auntie, Let me tell you, see, you don't know what you're missing. Trust me, you're missing something, come here. I'll just, just let me touch you. Come on. Trust I wanna you scream. We'll enjoy it. Tell me so we'll tell me for the kiss. What's the meaning of it? Why are you acting up? I want to Why are you acting up now? You don't want it? You don't want it? No problem. Fine. No problem. No problem. I'll make sure you leave this house. I'll make sure you leave this house. Rubbish. Take it. What is this then? Have you changed your mind? I just go. Go. I promise I will not tell anybody. Rubbish. I'll make sure you leave this house. Hey. Oh, see what now? See problem. What kind of problem is this? Oh. Confirmed lesbian. Only in the name of looking for your wife. Eh? Who be now? You will find yourself doing strange things. Sound right in the way. Yes. She's my wife. I just have to endure. Some will begin to lie. No, look at her. I know he's right. Some men go talk to women just to declare their love, just to get close to the one they love. Hey, serious drama go start to. What is wrong with this stupid girl? Why is she taking long to serve the food? Uh, Miriam, take it easy on her. She's not playing in the kitchen. Oh, you're already taking side against your only sister because of that stupid girl. Who's already crossing her boundaries in this house? Hey, just take it easy. All your sister is trying to tell you okay, is to treat her with some respect. She's not just a house girl, a maid that you just talk to anyhow. That's her position. And you pay her well for her services. Regina! Uh, Regina! Miriam! Mira, calm down. What has she done to deserve this ill treatment from you? Why are you taking long to say about the food? Okay, I'm, I'm very sorry. Sorry for yourself! I said sorry for yourself! It's okay, you can leave. Miriam, you really need to stop this. She's a very nice person. Besides, I like her. That's your business. I want food. I'm hungry. Miriam, you're old enough to do your own cooking. Now, if somebody does it for you, at least appreciate it. 
All right? And stop shouting. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm hungry. I want to eat. Seriously, Mom, you have to tell her. Mine will come to the table and shout. Let us see the first and last again. I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm hungry. I want to eat. Miriam, I couldn't believe such a fine girl like her would be practicing such art. No wonder she asked me the other day if you're into women. Really? <laughs> Thank God Sandra has not mentioned such to me. Sandra, how is she? She's okay. Um, Sweetie, I, I, I'm getting scared. I mean, everything is getting complicated. I, I don't want to be caught. Calm down. Don't be scared. Trust me, you won't get caught. Just relax. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just... uh, hello? Hello, Magia? So who are you looking for? Okay, my name is David Obago. I'm here to see Sandra. Yes, I understand her parent does not entertain male visitors. But it's important I see her. It's very, very urgent. And I believe you can make it happen. That uh, I can make what happen? Uh, you want me to lose my job as if you, <laughs> you really don't understand the situation of things now. And you want me to lose the job I'm already managing. Uh? Okay. Will, there is nothing will make me to... Okay. to okay. I can never ever just hold this. <laughs> okay. And trust me, I promise you it will not affect you in any way. Trust me. You know you are my brother. <laughs> no, 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 you are my brother. If I let me start by cooking how to convey you aside, whether to see her, if we can get. Let me just say that um, I will tell her the post office man is here. Are you, are you with me? Okay, but let me say DHL, DHL errand boy. DHL? The errand boy. You brought him, uh, Yeah, yeah. But don't let me. Fat, don't worry. Let me, I know oh, what okay, to find. Uh, Whatever you will tell her that will make me see her. Please, just tell her. I will. I will. Fine. Just wait here. No, All right, my guy. <laughs> I am not you. My, I am GM. GM, not guy. Okay, General. I know say you should say it all. Do it's not. Man. Do not say it all. GM. 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 That's my GM. <laughs> GM. <laughs> That's my GM. Yeah. <laughs> this way, this way, this way. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. actually. That's <laughs> my GM. My GM. Yeah. Actually, is this way? I'm not this way. Are you with me? I'm with you. <laughs> Yes, okay. Uh, 
I that side side uh, I don't know if you do I said we don't need to do it. Is there a problem? Uh, no. One man there the gate. He say he won't see you. Uh, he look innocent. He just look innocent. But I'm not expecting any person. No, no, no. Uh maybe you until you talk I know the other. But I don't have a security man. I just look the man. They are just looking innocent. You don't know. So I said, okay, let me for this one. Now. In fact, I know enter, I know allow her enter inside the house. I know. Okay, you know what? Come with me so I can explain the recipe to you. So what I was saying, I want to know. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Sandy, please calm down. You've not been taking my call. And why should I? Okay, fine. About my infidelity. I've changed. Trust me. Please forgive me. You know men are polygamous in nature. And I was unable to control my urge when your friend seduced me. Oh, bravo. Clap for yourself, okay, me. Men are polygamous in nature. And you're shamelessly saying it without any form of remorse. Is that how you are trained? Eh, David? Anyway, I have just one thing for you. Mr. David Polygamy. I am done with you. I am done with you! So you can go ahead with my slutty friend because of course that is who you deserve. You get me? Now leave my father's compound before I instruct Oka to throw you out. Fool, son. Hey, 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 please, can you leave my gay alone? Sorry, can you leave my auntie alone? And who is this Rifra? Wait, wait a minute. What did she just call you? Her girl? Mm-hmm. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. I should have known you were a lesbian. Yes, Mr. David, I am now a lesbian. And I'm proud of it. You know why? It is better for me to be a lesbian and be with a woman than to be with a he goat like you who cannot control his third leg. I'd rather be a lesbian than to be with a stupid man like you who cannot control his third leg from entering anything that is wearing skirts. You disgust me. Now leave here and never come back again. I won't warn you again. <laughs> Please, can you just let her be? And what if I don't let her be? Huh? You want to see what I will do? Just watch me. You deserve it. Try this next time, I'll deal with you. You see this house? Don't come this house again. You see that girl? That's my wife. Can you imagine that son of a bastard had the ghost to come here and tell me about him being sorry and loving me? <sighs> but, madam, sorry to ask, do you still love him? I don't know. I don't know. If you had asked me this question about a month ago, I would have said yes. But now... <sighs> huh. 
will, will you forgive him if he persists? No, I won't. I just hate liars and proud men. That idiot cheated on me with my best friend. My own best friend of all the women in the world. And he had the effrontery to come here to tell me that men are polygamous in nature. He must be very stupid. In fact, he is stupid. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I just feel so bad. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be fine, okay? I am really worried. What if she accepts her ex boyfriend back due to loneliness? Why not just come out clean and tell her the truth before you get caught? Come out clean? Yes. You think it's that easy? It is not easy. I will just think about it. I will think about it. I, I don't want to lose her. I just don't want to lose her. I understand how you feel. But you just have to believe in yourself and come out clean. Just tell her the truth. All will be fine. Like I love it. How do I divorce? <laughs> Play the ball. I'm sorry, I'm not into soccer. All I know how to do is how to cook, cook food, wash clothes, any type of food you want me to cook, I'll cook it for you. Okay, now come here. I want you to be my girl. Yeah, be my girl. Huh? See, please, just let me be. What did you worry yourself? Just let me be. Let me be. Who's been there? What did you just do? I'm not scared. After all, what? Well, I don't believe she will possibly tell anybody. Because she has said she came to do something bad. Yes! One one, yeah. Why, why would she even tell you? Okay, that I went to St. you see, when I discovered that he's a man. He's a lie. I'm not scared. <laughs> if she open up, I open up to one one. What is wrong with me? How can I possibly be thinking of her in this kind of way? No, 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 this is not possible. I cannot. I just can't. Never. Me, a lesbian? God forbid. In fact, I won't try it. Never. Mm -mm. Sandra, wake up. This is not good. Mm -mm -mm. Just wake up. Wake up. Mm -mm. This is not good.
of something uh-huh. When love hooks you You will find yourself Doing strange things uh-huh. When this love got you You will find yourself Doing weird things uh-huh. How do I come out clean? I was supposed to come out as a man and approach her just like everyone else. Now just look at what I'm going through. Look at me, Obinna. Wearing wig. Under this hot weather condition. God. Look at me, Obinna. Wearing makeup like ladies. Look at me wearing bra. All in the name of winning a girl's heart. What kind of thing is this? But it's okay. There is nothing I can do. I have started the game already. I won't stop. I love everything about Sandra. And I will never give up. Yes. Well done. Well done. Yeah, well done. Yes. Madam, waiting is about to happen now. You're not believe him. You know, if you, you will not even believe what is about to happen now. Please so, say what you want to say. Which one is you will not believe what will happen? Say what you want to say, please. Somebody wants to break the rule now. That's what I'm trying to tell you now. Imagine. Okay, a man is outside. A man, uh, a man is outside uh, trying to have entrance. By either by crook or by the otherwise. Which man and which house? Imagine. Exactly what I'm saying. Knowing well that I am the only GM, the only man in human entity. You talk too much. Which man? Sorry, ah. sorry. A man at the gate. Uh, sorry, somebody at the gate. A man at the gate. A man. A man. Imagine a man. In this house. Imagine. In our game. Hey, I said nothing will make me. If not the fact that I know my job, and I'm not going to lose that job, and nothing will make me. Go and call the man. You like to talk too much. Go and call the man. I should call him now. Yes, bring him in. Fast. Madam, will I? Be... I said go. Okay. That's. It. Will I carry him here or take him to the? Bundle office? him here. Okay, I should bundle him. Like hold him well. Whatever. I know what I'm Just bring to. him. Ah. Oh no. How? Oga, follow here. Man, and I stand here. And this, you see the madam. Ah! Uh-huh. This is the man. So I leave the man. I'm excited. Good day. Well, my name is David. I didn't ask for your name. And how may I help you? Well, I understand it's very strictly difficult to entertain male visitors. Oh, you're aware. You know, if my dad finds you here, he will skin you alive. Trust me. I know. I know. But then, it's important that I see Sandy. To see Sandra? Yes. 
Did you just call my sister Sandy? Sandy, no, what you call it? I don't understand. Imagine. No, not only are you here to see Sandra, or you are here to see Sandy or Sardine. Which one? Okay, fine. I'm here to see Sandra, your sister. So what? It's confidential. And that... it's very important and urgent. And you can't say it. Are you squeezing? Please your take face? him out. Take this guy out of here, please. Are you squeezing your face talking to Madame like that? Free your face because before I start hammering you on you now. Freeze your face, and Madame says you leave. Like I said, it's important I see Sandra, your sister. Do you want to see my sister? Yes. Are you sure you want to see my sister? Okay, I'll get her for you. You just hold on. Oh, thank you. Easy. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> Easy. I'm a well you mentally. If I to I will not that gate, then I will deal with you, Miss Leslie. Forget this, I'm GMO. Forget that gate. Can I sit? If, you, if I see you, in fact, I will break your legs. Now, are you stupid? I mean, in fact, I'm, I need the reason to enter you now. Forget that you are all low. I am the GM. Do you know the name of GM? I'm sorry, like Miriam. I'm sorry, but hold on. Did you just obstruct my outing because of this nitwit? This idiot who had the effrontery to shamelessly cheat on me with my friends. Sandra, please. Hey, walking corpse. I can see you're clearly deaf or dumb. Which one are you? Because I know I have warned you severally to stay far away from me. Okay, now let me advise you for the last time. David, or whatever you're called, let this be the very first and last time I will see your shadow anywhere near me. If you try it again, I will make sure your mother regrets why she did not use contraceptive the day you were conceived. Sandra, can I explain something? Get lost! I said, get lost! Get lost! I told you not to say that. Move now. Move. You're like I'm fucking a gate. You're very funny. Yeah. Yeah. What? Why is it like your father don't allow me visitors here? What kind of question is that? Which African parent allows their daughters to entertain male visitors at home? Who does that? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Another thing I want to ask, how will you react when they lie to you? Lies. <laughs> I hate lies. It's an unforgivable sin to me. Because I don't lie. I say the way it is. If it's A, it's A. If it's B, it's B. So why should you lie to me? Which is the reason I will never forgive David. He lied to me. He deceived me. I just hate it when someone thinks they can take advantage of my meekness. You know, in David's case, I heard about it. People told me, but I didn't believe it. Then I asked him. If only David came clean and apologized to me. If only he said, baby, I am sorry, this is what happened. Maybe I would have forgiven him. But he lied to me. I asked him and he denied it. Then someone had to go extra mile to get me a video of David and Stephanie kissing in public shamelessly. I mean, how could he do that? 
I just hate lies and I'm never going to forgive David. Never. Anyway, Okay, Auntie. What is it? There is something that has been bothering me, so I I know what I'm about to say now might make you people to to hate me. But I don't have any other option but to open up. Regina, what have you done? You know how much this family treasures you and how close I've brought you to my heart. So what is it? I love the young man to speak. That young man? Sonia, I'm very sorry. I have been a shadow of myself. calling you at this hour yes i know you're at work but something is bothering me sorry daddy good afternoon yes that is about regina regina the cook daddy there's something strange about that girl i don't know if it's me but i i just think there's something strange about her you haven't noticed Daddy, you know I like her a lot. I just don't want to be disappointed on the long run. Yes, Daddy, please look into this. All right, Daddy, love you. Thank you. Sorry, Dr. Sandra, for cutting your shoes. Your mother and I made discovery. We discovered everything about Regina long ago. After you have told me. Dad? Mommy? Mommy, you, 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 you knew? Huh? We planted the camera.
to tell you that um, I have no objections to you loving my daughter but uh, it will be only proper if you get your parents involved so that we do the appropriate thing. Mommy! My wife has said it all. But please. It's not for my daughter. It, it would be nice if you would remove the bomb on As you all can see, I have been carrying this ring with me, waiting for the right time to present it to her, Sandra. I love you so much. Please, Sandra, will you marry me? I know I lied to you. I know I've deceived you and every other person here. I'm truly sorry. Please, I did all that because I love you. Just get out. Get out. Don't disappear from me. I don't want to see you. Just get lost, please. Sandra, it is written in the holy book that if they slap you on your right cheek, offer them the left one. You asked for it, idiot. Ask another one, I'll still give you.
No, you have the right to give me any type of punishment you want. All I have to say is that I'm sorry for this evening. I did it out of love. I'm sorry. Dad. Mommy. I must confess, your, your family is a wonderful family. I really enjoyed my stay here. I'm sorry I deceived you. All I have to say, I'm sorry. You've said that before. What are you still doing here? What are you Get out! Go! You said it before! Go! Take your nyash, take your pants, take your bra, take everything I get out! Get lost! Get more.
Good mic. The waitress. Thank you, sir. The waitress. You're welcome. Who is it to you? <laughs> Chief William Samadhi. My father. You know him? Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Sir. Thank You're you welcome. very much, Mike. Please have. Huh? <laughs> Mike, you have been a good man. Oh, thank you, sir. Since the first day you joined my company, Zillion Oil and Gas has made tremendous exploits. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I never knew that God would need our families in this form. Oh, what exactly is going on here? Oh, one. Here is my boss. Ah, you don't say. Yes. The chief, the chief executive officer of Zillion Oil and Gas Limited. The one in Germany? Yes. Oh, yes. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. He so much believes in me. He's the architect of what I am today, as a matter of fact. What, what would I offer you, please? Uh, that's me. That's me. That's me. It's not been long he came back from the States with a twin sister who lost one of her legs in a fatal motor accident. Oh, so, what a pity. So sorry. So when he told me to accompany him to his house, I kept him to be sure it's the same microbiology that I know. I was telling me about this. <laughs> uh, that's your daughter, right? Yes, that's my daughter. Actually, I'm also a daughter. Yeah, that's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, they have already received my blessing. And uh, as a matter of fact, my wife here is on their side. Uh, then you can call me in law because they also have my blessings. <laughs> hey. What a small world. Yes. So at last, Regina is my husband. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not with him. Oh, being mm. I'm sorry, I feel like being with you. No, please. <laughs>